Hey there, it's Big Tony over here at Natchee, coming at you with a little Beacon Rush action. We are on the Abyss map, and uh, it's Take Your Raptor to Work Day. <laughs> I'm going to go out here, and uh, I'm just grinding resources. We're coming down to the end of the month. And, uh, of course, you know, time to uh, go out here and make the donuts. So let's uh, go ahead and start off here. This is this is the meta build right now, guys. This is the, uh, the Athos and the Aramis equipped Raptor. Hawkeye drone, the uh, the specialty pilot. Ooh, there's one right over there. We got a looks like we got ourselves. Yeah, we got ourselves a raptor over there as well. So this should be a pretty even fight. So there should be some good silver to be farmed here today. So let's go ahead and work on the raptor here. Yeah, he's gonna be he's gonna play it just like I am. He's gonna play it aggressive. That's fine. Let's kind of float in here and do a floaty landing. I'll take the assist. Oh, we got a couple good targets walking in here. Let's get rid of him. Let's get rid of him. And now we will work on... Oh, my gosh. Did you see that was... Okay, so someone's tanking. I see someone had a uh, Cossack. That's lovely. And that, that's a hallmark, too, of coming down to the end of a month. People like to... That's when they like to do their tanking. They like to bring it down to the end. Try to... See, okay, there it is again. There's, oh, my gosh. Really, dude? Oh, my God. It's me. Yeah, no, that is just sad, is what it is. Um, putting a Cossack out there to tank? No. Sorry, this ain't going to be happening. Uh, I won't put a Cossack on the battlefield, guys. I, I just won't. Sorry, ain't going to happen. I won't even make a video trying to make a funny video about it. It's just, honestly, you're not doing your team any service uh, by running a Cossack in Champion League. I mean, seriously, it's just not. So let's go ahead and keep pounding on these guys right here. Okay, what we got? We, got, we can floaty over here. We got a couple targets. Oh, there we go. It's a shell. That'll be a good target. Oh, yeah, we got that. Two, two of my buddies in blue just spawned in right behind him. There we go. We got the kill. Nice. Looks like we got them down to three. Oh, there we go. We got ourselves a curry over there. Let's go ahead and jump back on these guys here because I want to defend our beacon. Get the double kill, get rid of him. And oh, come on, nothing. Okay, so that uh, Curry has worked his way back here. He's taken out the, one of my buddies in blue right there. It looks like he took out an Ocho. So we're going to have to finish this off because no, you're not getting that beacon. Sorry, ain't happening. This has gone from silver farming to being something personal now. This is, this is my match. We're going to take this one. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And come on, come on, come on. And, Oh, boom, there we go. Triple kill. Save the beacon. Now, let's push it in. Let's go. They're down to two players, so now we should be able to take this out and, and hand drop it. Oh, they're back. They had two people drop back in. Okay. So it's going to be four V5. We can deal with this still. Let's go ahead and use my original plan, which is I want to get into their spawn point here. I want to convert their home beacon. So let's go ahead and work on the Fenrir right here. Let's get rid of him. You see the bright red nose? It's a gift bringer. It's Rudolph the Red Nose Fenrir. For the rampage. And let's, <laughs> let's work on this guy back here. He's just kind of chugging along. Uh, oh, okay. Mark's got himself a Minos. He just kind of gets shoved around here a little bit. But I'm in good shape. I'm just going to use Phase Shift here. One more second. Here we go. Now we can do a leap. Let's go ahead and... Well, we'll use it as a mode of transportation. I'll let him throw me back up on top here. So let's just go ahead and do a little turret defense type game here. Let's uh, go ahead and pick things off from up here for a second. And we got ourselves a Muji right there. And it looks like he teleported back down below. Nope, nope. That was just one that just moved quick down there. We got the Muji on the far side there. For a second there, he blinked out. I thought he teleported. Oh, well. Uh, we got ourselves an Ocho. Let's go after him. Let's... Yeah, I mean, seriously, these guys are putting up a fight. I mean, I like this. I mean, we've got the super majority. They're down, you know, three players to four. I mean, they're putting up a great fight. I thought it was going to be a fight when I saw that first Raptor on the battlefield. That tells me that we had some good players out here as far as firepower goes. Not saying that you have to have a Raptor to be a good player. I'm just saying that I knew it was going to be a harder fought battle and it wasn't going to be a steamroller. At least, oh, at least not from the onset. Come on, come on, come on, come on, get the Ocho, get the Ocho. Now, I did see Ochos were in the MK2 deals uh, on the store in-game for relatively cheap. 
I mean, we're talking, I think it's like 10, 10 US bucks, maybe nine. Right? I can't remember the exact amount, but uh, that just means there's going to be a lot more Ochos on the battlefield, and Ochos are good tanks. I'm not saying they're the tank they used to be. You can't, uh, you can't do like I'm doing with this Raptor, which is just tank your way through everything. But boy, you can be aggressive with them and have some seriously good gameplay. So if you're looking to pick up a tank, you know, an Ocho wouldn't be a bad one to pick up. And of course, you can get the uh, Vepco pilot, the Tiger pilot. I still think is the better pilot for it. But uh, the 7 pilot, if you have one that's leveled up, that ain't bad either. You can get some good matches with both of them. Okay, I think we finally, I think we've cleared them out. Okay, it was a fight, guys. Seriously, that was that was a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and take a look here. I know we got more than a few kills in this one. But uh, definitely, it didn't feel like a steamroller. It, it definitely felt like they put up a good battle. 14 kills, 3 beacon caps. Yeah, I mean, it was fun. And we had a really aggressive team on the other side. And I'll take my crate rewards. Alrighty, guys. I think what we're going to do is let's go ahead and hop into one more. And see what kind of mayhem we can cause with the Raptor. Alrighty guys, here we go. We're going to hop into the second one. Castle map. This will be good. Um, kind of, You can kind of run the circuit, kind of a circular run here. Uh, we're going to play this aggressive. Let's go ahead and adjust the volume a little bit. And uh, I'm just going to work my way down to this right-hand side bridge. I'm going to work my way across. I'm going to push right into the spawn point. See if I can't get them all to bunch in here. And maybe we can get my... Well, that's not... That's an interesting combo right there. Uh, Deathwing, Ao Jun with a combination of, uh, looks like Puncher and, uh, I forget the name of the other weapon up there. The one, the one I don't use, the one I don't have. Uh, okay, but yeah, we got two, we got two uh, Skyruses running for the beacon, so let them have that beacon. Let's go for their home spawn point beacon. Let's engage them here and see if we can't clear it up and let my buddies in blue go uh, cap some beacons. So if I get them all over here, that uh, will clear things up. That'll take the pressure off everyone. Uh -hoo -hoo -hoo. Ultimate, ultimate invader. That is a beast build right there too. He's got uh, looks like is that the armadillo? That's the armadillo drone on there. So every kill and every beacon cap he gets, he's getting more defense points. So we can't let this stay on the battlefield too long. Once he gets the defense points way, way up there, he's going to become really tough to kill. So let's go ahead and work on him. Yeah, it looks like we got ourselves. In, yeah, it looks like we got a Shen. Was it Shen Lao? Right over there. And this guy here, yeah, he's taking. I'm telling you, he's taking a pounding. He has definitely got a, a beastie build right there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, and pound. Okay, that didn't take him. That didn't take him down. I was expecting that uh, comet splash to do a little more damage than that. So he is definitely. I'm guessing he's spam hitting. He's got to be spam hitting the. Uh, the advanced repair, or maybe he's even got the unstable conduit on it. Which, if that's the case, that would explain why I can't take this guy out. I mean, we're just kind of going nose to nose here. I get him close, but he's just not. Maybe we can get him this time. It just seems like I can't get him right down past that last critical hunt. But there we go. Finally got him. Got him with the Hawkeye drone. Look at that. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of him as well. Oh my gosh, look at that. He's got two of them. He's got two ultimate. Uh, invaders. Okay, and he's got a paralysis drone on that one. That's an interesting combo. Uh, he's got the ultimate T Punishers on here, so that is that is seriously really a tough tough build. That thing actually is a Titan killer. So I'm just going to kind of keep dancing around here and working around him because uh, the tight the t Punisher T's are not the greatest for maintaining fire on a target if it's moving. So I'm going to do that. Get the rampage. Get him out of there. We'll take the easy targets out, and then we'll keep working on the uh, ultimate invader here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And he is tough. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to go get this crisis build because he could actually do some real damage to me. So we're going to get him off the battlefield. Then we'll go back to worrying about the invader. And, of course, my buddies in blue have com basically completely lost control of the beacons here. I think we got one beacon obtained, and that's back at the home spawn point. And we're losing that one too. Okay. Uh, yeah. So my plan is not working. I was hoping by tying everyone up here that my buddies in blue can cap some beacons. And apparently that's not what's going on. In fact, we're just, yeah, we've lost it. My team has totally <laughs> fell apart here. Maybe my, my strategy just was not going to work today. All right. Let's uh, go ahead and take a look at the, at the tail of the tapes here. But yeah. 
I had eight kills, two beacon caps. It was it was a fun match. I mean, seriously, we pounded on that guy for a long time. And there you can see why. Zero kill, zero kill, zero kill. One beacon, zero beacon, one, 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 and then me at two. Yeah, this was just not going to work. And it looks like my top, my bottom three guys were basically under a million points. They were just out of here. Like they were checked out. Alrighty guys, time to bell out here. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell for notifications. That way you know when I'm dropping it. Stay safe and healthy, guys. Watch, watch out for each other. And I'll catch you on the battlefield.